ザキを捕獲することはできなんだかまあよいわまずは少量でも忌みさえ手に入ればそれでよいしかしミザリーに道を与える結果ともなりましたわかっておるあの身の程を知らぬ小娘が変わらず勝っておしよるわそれに忌みちの姉妹じゃなあのままにしておくこともできぬ<笑><笑>では、先を再度捕獲しにかかるとするか。やつの体は実験体として有用な存在と言える。しかし万が一、先を捕獲できぬようならば、姉妹もろとも始末せよ。ミザリーにこれ以上、忌みちを得させぬためにな。ははっ。問題は。先を捕らえるにはまずキャツらの所在を突き止めねばならぬことじゃがよし今一度資料待ちに放つのじゃ組織を公にさらす恐れがありますが何心配はいらぬ世間に組織が知れたところで先の忌みちを手にした今我らに敵対するものなどありはせぬわはあ、さてこの作戦お前にも参加してもらうぞできるなかしこまりました仰せの通りに Greetings everyone this is Potato Hedgehog and welcome back to o n a c h o n b a r a Bikini Samurai Squad last time I don't remember but that was Aya's special outfit And I believe this special outfit debu debuted in Zombie Hunters 2 if you unlocked it. Not gonna lie, it looks good in HD, but、uh, it just looks weird to me. Like, what is Aya supposed to be wearing, and why is her cowboy hat on her back? Like, if you're gonna give Aya a special outfit, never put her cowboy hat anywhere else except on her body. Well, except on her head. I don't know, but, uh. Mind telling me why you're fighting Andre the Giant? Um. Moshi, you do know that those zombies did appear in the second game, right? Oh,、uh, yeah. So they're reusing zombies at this point. They've always been reusing zombies, except in One Chan Bara Z Kagura and recently One Chan Bara Z 2 Chaos. And One Chan Bara Origin, but I've been trying to avoid spoiling myself for that, but. Are you supposed to be using a shotgun or a rifle, cop zombie? Make, make up your mind. But yeah, Onechan Bara Origin has been out in Japan for quite some time, and I've been trying to avoid spoilers on that considering it does come with an English option, but no localization for, for us Westerners yet. Probably because Sony can't keep, their, can't keep their heads out of their ass. Yeah, most likely. So, I'm just taking my time getting through the One Chan Bara franchise until I get to One Chan Bara Origin eventually. What about One Chan Bara Z Kagura? I'm going to eventually play that if I can get my hands on it, but、uh, that game never released over here in America, so that might be a little difficult. And D3 Publisher, if you're gonna, re if you're gonna release One Chan Bara Z 2 Kagura over here in the States, like. Give us a port of Onechan Bara Z Kagura, for God's sake. Because that game looks really insane for a continuity reboot of Onechan Bara. Hell, you get to fight zombie tanks in that game. Nah, in Devil May Cry 2, you fought a zombie skyscraper. Do you? Yeah, play it for yourself. I will eventually once I finish Devil May Cry 5 because I did say that I. I hate my Xbox 360 controller. As I was saying, I was. I am going to play the remainder of the Devil May Cry games, including the reboot, once I finish Devil May Cry 5. And that might. That might come soon, considering I'm very close to finishing 5. Considering we ran into Virgil, but that's important. 
Indeed. You may have you may have noticed that in the last episode I mentioned blood mist zombies. Those are them. Those giant blobs of anthropomorphic blood. Attacking them will fill up your berserk meter and really take a toll on your weapon durability. If you manage to do a full com cool combination with either Aya or Saki, I believe you get sent to an, an endurance test level, and if you beat that, you get a special item. But, uh, I do not have the galaxy brain required to do the cool combinations in the first few Nation Bara titles, so... If anything, they're just a free pass to go berserk if you're in for a tough fight, or if you're really feeling, you know, in a world of pain. So, just wanted to show that off real quick before we get to the boss, because I do not think I can ever get the special items in this game. In Zombie Hunters 2, they were blood gates, and they were pretty much the exact same thing, except that they didn't fool your berserk gauge. That being said... なんだか少し雰囲気が変わったみたいね。でもね、変わらないものもあるのよ。見て、あなたにつけられたこの首の傷。いくらファンデーションを塗っても浮き上がってくるのよ。これはきっと、あなたのことを忘れないようにってことな
もしかしてあなた本当のバカあなたの力じゃ私に勝てないってもう分かってたと思うんだけど<笑>あやあなたこそ忘れてるんじゃないこの私の体の秘密を秘密そうまだまだ終わりなんかじゃないわよこんなものじゃ終わらないのよ何なのこれクローン<笑>そうよあやこれ全部私なのこれでもっともっと楽しむことができるわね悪趣味にも程があるわねけどこれでやっと面白くなってきたって感じね Did someone say phase two? Because that's what's happening right now. And this part of the boss fight can get a little tricky unless you know unless you know what you're doing. Because Reiko can clone herself. And this is a plot point in the in the game after this. So this is basically a guessing game to figure out which Reiko is the real one, and the Reiko that is the real one can take can take damage on that health bar and knock you away with that swing attack. And taunt. Because her clones cannot do any of this. They just act like normal enemies and can go down with a suicide attack. That is a lot of latex bodysuit. Yes, it is, Moshi, but that's not the point. Ah. Reiko, can you stop? Stop this! I would just like to. I would just like to attack and dodge and attack and eliminate clonage. And be prepared to hear a lot of. Because. That's... that's all of Reiko's dialogue when she dodges. So... Oh. Oh, that's what's happening right now. Oh my. Moshi, shut up. Never! You should have seen that coming. Oh, and they can all use the slap attack. That's nice. Because I want to get slapped by Reiko from all angles. Unless that happens. And Reiko will easily up the pressure in this boss fight, considering what she does when she is at half health. Ugh. I'm gonna need you to stop slapping me. No one gave you the right to be that to be that cocky. And with that said, Reiko is defeated. That seemed way too easy. Because um, that's what you get when you play this game non-stop and level up your characters to game-breaking levels. Yeah, that sounds about right. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Bikini Samurai Squad, please leave a like and a comment to let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, ladies and gentlemen, see ya!